This is part one of my new mythology series, starting with the Majestical Kelpie. I just want to get out of the way that I do live in Scotland, but I'm not actually Scottish. I was just really interested in Kelpies a lot when I was growing up. A lot of mythical creatures and just kind of interesting that I ended up here. But anyway, moving on. So according to Scottish folklore, Kelpies are shape-shifting water spirits that typically take the form of a horse. Although in some depictions, Kelpies can transform into humans. Some accounts claim that a Kelpie that is shape-shifted into a human form will still have its horse hooves. The first recorded use of the term Kelpie describing a mythical creature was around 1759. According to most accounts, Kelpies are described as beautiful black horses. They typically hang out near streams, rivers, and deep pools of water, which are pretty common around Scotland. Supposedly, Kelpie's hooves are reversed compared to normal horses, so if you encounter one, I guess that's one way to tell if it's real or not. Some accounts, like those from Aberdeenshire, depict a Kelpie with a mane made out of snakes, while others, like here, show a Kelpie with a kind of seaweed mane so that it blends into the water easy. If you saw a Kelpie by the water, you might just think it was a pony, and that's why they're particularly enticing to children. Sometimes they also appear as a horse that's struggling in the water, and they expect your human instinct to take over so that you try to rescue them. But once you climb onto the Kelpie's back, or even just touch them in some versions of this story, you're stuck. Physically unable to get off of it, the Kelpie then dives into the water, dragging its victim in with it. The victim then drowns, and in some depictions of the story, the Kelpie will eat them. Sometimes, Kelpies can even use their magical powers to summon up a flood in order to sweep the traveler off their feet and into the river. But the good news is that this majestic beast has one weakness, its bridle. If you manage to get a hold of it, you can command it, and apparently any other Kelpie. So I guess next time you find yourself alone in Scotland and being approached by a horse, you'll at least survive now. <laughs>